There's nothing I can do to change God's love for me. There's nothing I can do to make Him love me more or make Him love me less. He just loves me. There is no He loves me not. So today I wanted to talk about rest. And this is really important. Like God wants to give us His rest. Come to me, all you who labor, and I will give you rest. And so that's the question. Do you have rest? And what does he want us to rest from? Like, what does he want us to rest from? What's the labor that I had been engaged in? And it's a subtle thing. See, it's, it's the reason behind the action. It's not the action itself. Am I acting or doing things because I think it's going to make me closer to the Lord or make Him love me more or to be more successful or to be better in His eyes, anything like that? And there's an element of when we've been given grace, He wants us to be good and faithful stewards of that grace. He wants us to respond to it and follow Him gifting the world precisely with what he's gifted us with but all of that should come from a place of rest come to me all you who labor and i will give you rest and what's that rest that rest is being a child of god it's just simply being a child and there's nothing i can do to change god's love for me there's nothing i can do to make him love me more or make him love me less or anything like that he just loves me. There is no he loves me not in this song. He just loves me. And that's the rest that he came to give. In Hebrews 4, verses 1 to 13, the writer ties this rest that we get in the Lord with the Sabbath rest. So basically this idea of Sabbath rest where God stops working and rests on the seventh day. The Lord's work in the redemption of humanity, when we accept that, when we receive it, and we receive this spirit, and we receive our identities as sons and daughters, like we go from being a sinner to a child, that's where the rest comes. There's no more atonement I need to do. I don't need to atone for anything. He's already atoned for it all. And I can just rest and live from the place of a child. And the kind of oxymoron there is when I trust that and just to live from it, everything changes. Everything changes. I'm not in this place of frenetic energy that's just anxious and and driven by need and want. It's just rest. Think about that for a minute. Can you pause and honestly rest and rest in the truth that you are loved, you are good, and you are holy? You're a child. When we can believe that truth, then we can get our life in alignment with it then I'm not hammering out virtue. I step into this new virtuous life that God has given me. In paragraph 2000 of the Catechism, the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it talks about how sanctifying grace is a habitual disposition. It's a whole new way of thinking, believing, feeling, and interacting with the world. It's like a, a new worldview, it's a disposition, a new orientation. And the gift that's given in that orientation is I can follow his commandments. So you're baptized, you're loved, you've been made a, spirit, a son or a daughter. You've been given the spirit of sonship. So rest in that. Just pause and rest. Rest with this truth. You're a beloved son or daughter with whom he's well pleased. And rest there. And what's the next thing you want to do from that place of rest? For me, it's love, it's give, it's help others have that rest. So the Lord calls us to rest. He calls us to a permanent Sabbath. Psalm 23, he says, the Lord is my shepherd. There's nothing I shall want. If there's a place of want in your life, he's not your shepherd there. And we're not at rest there. 
we're still trying to work it out, make it happen, and uh, be in charge. So rest today. Come to him, all you who labor, and he will give you rest, just as he gives me rest and everybody else. So please pray for me. Know that I'm praying for you. And uh, I think I'm going to get back on this again. I really like this. I really miss it. I could feel it right now in my heart, God's grace moving, right? I'm on the right path, doing the right thing. So um, peace to you all, and I'm praying for you, and please pray for me.